All right, well, let's get started then. Um, I'd like to call this special meeting of the Northfield Township Board to order. Um, let's uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, would anyone like to offer an invocation? Sure, I could. Go ahead. Ton's going to offer one. Dear Heavenly Father, um, may you guide our thoughts, our words, and our hands, and that uh, for today's processes. Thank you very much. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, please call the roll, um, Clerk Manley. All right, Belliger. Here. Dockett. Here. Zelena. Present. Shockley. Here. Manley. Here. Otto. Here. And Chick of Epson. With notice. With notice. Okay. Um, so you have the uh, agenda. I would like to add uh, at number one and move everything else down. Um, the protocol for the township manager hiring process that was provided by our labor attorney uh, to be agenda item one that we can just talk about. For uh, what, what, what are you adding? The, this uh, hiring protocol for hiring. Yeah. Well, it's I see it, but I mean, I, I would have okay. liked to have it before the meeting. Well, it just came in at about half an hour well, ago. It seems like this happens all the time. Huh? Uh, I, I don't <laughs> like to get that. I'd like to okay. know, be prepared for the meeting. Well, I'll be happy to read it out loud so that we can all um, know it. I agree, it. too, because, I mean, yeah. it's hard to, uh, like, it's hard to um, be prepared and, and it really is caught on our How heels. How many people Correct. have to be at this meeting? Um, we need five to go into closed session, and we're not dealing with any closed session items right now, so... We can talk about the protocol while we're waiting for so our attorney you, to come in. What do you need, four of them? We need five. We need, and, and we have enough to go into closed session when that time well, you're, um, you're would lucky. come. Okay. So, um, we were okay. so we were provided this protocol for township manager hiring process um, for, by our attorney, and we could talk about that a little at the beginning here as agenda item one. So I would like to amend the agenda to include that. Um, I support. Okay. So, Chalkley, um, motion to amend. And I'll Belliger's. Second. Oh, Belliger supported okay. already. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 I'd like to have a roll call. Can we have please. discussion? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Uh, well, I mean, since Stacy provided it, mm -hmm. should we wait till she comes until, unless we. So I can't we, hear you. Since Stacy provided it, our attorney. Should we wait until she comes in case there are questions on this document? We could do that, but I could, we could also read it out loud so that everybody mm -hmm. has it and it's read into the, you know, so the people on TV can see what she sent us. Uh, I think and we can discuss that. And then when she, can com when she comes in, then we can ask her questions of it. At least we'll have, all have a chance to look at it that way. Okay. It is worthy for discussion, for sure. Okay. So a motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager, and roll call vote then. Otto. Yes. Manley, yes. Chalkley. Yes. Selena. No. Dockett. No. Bellager. Yes. Okay. That passes. Um, so we'll, I'll just read it out loud, and when um, our attorney comes in, we'll ask her any questions we have of it. All right, we'll give her a minute. <laughs> okay, uh, it starts with um, the protocol is advertising for the township manager position using the township's website and other agreed upon alternate sources for an agreed upon period of time, which is what we did already. Uh, number two was to distribute to the board members all the resumes received for an initial cut based on the candidate's conformity with minimum qualifications set forth in the job advertisement. So we have all received all of those um, resumes at this point and um, looked at them. And then th 
part three was rank the top candidates for consideration at the board meeting. So confidential resumes will be discussed in a closed session pursuant to Michigan Combined Law 15.268F. All other resumes will be considered in an open session of the Township Board. The Board will vote in an open session on the candidates to be interviewed. The Board will vote to interview not more than its top three candidates for the position. The Board will then set a date for interviews. The Township will then contact the candidates to be interviewed in writing to inform them of the date and time for interviews. The Township will communicate with all non-selected candidates to inform them of the Board's decision not to interview them. Um, so we have... This is the problem I have. Pardon? I have a problem with that paragraph. Okay. A problem or a question? Um, a problem and a question both. The Board will okay. vote to interview no more than three. I believe okay. that that should be extended to no less than five and possibly six. Okay, that's, that's your suggestion. We, could, we can consider that as a board, how many we would like to do. Well, I should hope that we should because the attorney should not, the attorney is not the board. We, that's true. we are the board and us as a seven member um, equal <laughs> voice on the board should have, uh, be making most, making most of these outside of, of course, what she needs to advise us legally. Okay. I well, think initially, uh, I do agree that we should have it more than three for the first round of interviews because you're going to interview this person more than once. Didn't they do that before Mr. Dockett is interviewing more than once? I'm sorry. I, when we first interviewed for the township manager position, didn't we interview more than once? Well, I think we did because yeah. uh, they didn't show <laughs> Uh, they all had jobs by the time we got to them, yeah. so we had to do it again. Okay. Uh, and that's the problem with talking about three people. I mean, we got to get at least six people, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, I, I can't understand why we don't want to get, we're only going to interview three people. That don't make sense to me. Okay. That was just a suggestion by our attorney, and we can change that number. Um, but. Um, well, I think maybe we need to vote on that. Uh, yeah, we can. We're, right now, we're just going through the suggestions, and we can change this however is, uh, we feel is appropriate. Um, but um, our attorney here now, uh, Ms. Belisle, is here. And uh, so we're looking at your hiring process. Um, and I'm noticing that I have just made the mistake of missing um, the call to the public. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a member of the public here. Would you like to speak to us at all? C come on up, I'm sorry for doing that. Mary Devlin, 9211 Brookside Drive. You were discussing about the number of candidates to interview. The first time around for a township manager that you all hired, there were a, uh, six candidates that were to be interviewed at an open meeting. And one of the people, well, actually there were seven, one dropped out and the other went to Northville instead of Northfield. And so that left five. And so what you did was you, you interviewed them and they gave their, their three or five minutes, you know, uh, a talk about their resume and so on. And then you all asked questions. And then after that, you decided on three finalists and then you made your, your final commitment from that. And that's just all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Okay, so um, the next item that we had was board member comments, and uh, I imagine that uh, we don't necessarily have any of that right now, but, uh, oh, except Mr. Go ahead, Mr. Dockett, if you have uh, board member I was comments. very disappointed about how the instructions, how we got the instructions. Uh, I thought I was told that, that you wanted us to turn in 10, uh, applicants and I the board somebody was going to pick out the top three uh, when I got that information I was turned off and nobody ever explained it to me that that's the way it was going to be I don't I don't know how the rest of you found out 
I, I seen absolutely nothing, no, e no emails or anything written about this. So I was confused. I just want you to know that uh, uh, I didn't turn in any. The reason I didn't turn in any is because I couldn't understand what was happening. How come we were, I didn't want, I didn't know, I wanted to see what everybody else turned in. And from what the way I was explained to me, I wasn't gonna find that out. They wanted my 10, and then somebody was gonna figure out three. So uh, it was not done very well. I'd like to have Thank you, you Mr. Dockett. Um, Ms. Bellager, do you have a comment? I do have a comment about the procedure. I um, was under the impression that we were to hand in our selection of candidates, and then a list would be generated. And it was not it was not clear what this list would show. Um, so I was very uncomfortable with the appearance that I would not know what my fellow colleagues would be choosing for candidates. I wanted it to be upfront, completely open, so that everything is above board and open. And it was not clear that that was the intention. The, what we received is fantastic but I did not know, I was unaware that we would receive a grid as we did indicating whom selected whom. So had I was, if I was well informed of the process, then of course I would have, would have uh, very easily, very comfortably, shall I say, submitted my candidates. But having not that confirmation of exactly what the process was withheld my it, it brought up a lot of concern. So I just wanted to let that be known that there was an issue with the process and I don't know if my comments, my discussions adjusted the process or if this is exactly how it was going to be. I do not know because it was not explained exactly what the process was. The last time we talked about this, I was understanding we would physically bring ours tonight and then count and hash it out. That was what I understood. The next process was give them to uh, the board, give them to uh, a secretary, and we'll count up what they are. But then, like I said, that was not clear as to indicating the above, uh, the complete transparency of knowing whom selected whom, and this was my concern. Okay, thank you. Do you have any other comments? Um, Ms. Manley. I guess I just would like to address, I guess, Ton and Wayne. I mean, the, the last meeting, I thought we said we were going to pick out our top 10, list those, give it to Jennifer to come up with a tally sheet. I guess there wasn't a clear explanation of how she was going to do the tally sheet because she might not have known how she was going to do it. And I had that same question. I did give her my top 10 if I had 10. And then I was in here Tuesday and I asked her, hey, can I see the sheet that you're doing? So I had the same questions and I asked her beforehand to show me what she was doing. And that, you know, solved my comfort level. So. I guess, you know, if there is a question, call someone, ask someone, you know, how are we doing this? So that's what I did to call them, you know, my question. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. I did email to say okay. that this was what I wanted to know, but okay. I did not hear back that confirmation okay. that that information would be shared. Okay. Yeah, just keep calling. Okay. Well, I didn't even know about the meeting two, two days ago, so I have out. I'm, uh, when, when did you notify people? Of I, I called you, I want to say last Thursday. I called you and personally talked I, to you. I know you called me, but it, was, uh, uh, it wasn't last Thursday. It wasn't a week ago. I'll double check when it was. Uh, okay, because I only knew about it for a couple of days, as far as I can remember. Yeah. Uh, we didn't set it up at the board meeting. Um, not this meeting, but um, I did call you, Mr. Dockett, when your packet was ready. Um, you what? I, I called you when your packet was ready uh, a couple was, days ago. Uh, that was just the day before yesterday. Yes, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, we, we haven't had a lot right. of time on this. Right, and there was a lot of discussion. I, I know you were in, Mr. Dockett, discussing uh, ranking your candidates with um, Ms. Carlisle in the office and how it was going to, to work, and you were not wanting to provide um, any. Because I thought that, that there was a three-person board here. First of all, let me say this. There was 
there was uh, uh, four people that wanted to, to hire a township manager on this board. Three people did not want to hire. So who gets on the board? Two people who do not want to hire a, a township manager. It should have been just the other way around. There should have been two people on the board that did want a manager. Uh, so I'm suspicious right off when something when this happens, and then I, I was not told what was going on. I didn't understand it. Okay. Wayne, I called you at 4:41 on April 26th, and we talked, and I told you about the meeting, and to give Jennifer 10 candidates. So. I don't know what April 26th was that exact date, but I did talk to you that day. Mm -hmm. So, and I even told Jennifer okay. the next day, I'm like, I okay. called Wayne personally and told him about it, so. It, well, you didn't tell me much. I mean, I, I didn't understand what was going on. Well, the date and the time of the meeting and to give Jennifer the top 10. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, but that had nothing to do with the 10 picks. Okay. 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 Um, this is a pretty transparent process for all of us now because we all know who's voted for who, except that we, d we have uh, some uh, missing now from Mr. Dockett and Ms. Ms. Belliger. We didn't have them on the list. However, we could easily add them on the list right now if you wanted to list off which candidate, like A, B, C, D, or whatever, that you wanted to add us to add into the tallies. In in, well, we don't need names given, but we can do that in closed session. If, if this is, go ahead, Ms. Bellager. I mean, this process has been a bit of a challenge, and I do just want to reiterate, Docket does make a point when we had initially a couple weeks ago, like right now we're, we moved the process, we have improved the process, but a couple weeks ago there was talk of having the, um, the committee of three actually make the choices, and this was... There was talk of that, and then we put a stop to that. I reviewed that meeting just to verify, because I was a little hazy on that myself. And that was a move in the wrong direction. But we had corrected that during that meeting. And we are doing as we are now, collecting our names and then combining and getting a total. Mm -hmm. But that was a move towards the wrong direction, as, Docket, as okay. Trustee Dockett is indicating. Like I said, that we did move away from that and correct the process. Okay, so now that we have a corrected process. Um, an improved process. An improved process. Okay. Uh, I'd like us to move along with the meeting, if, if at all possible, here. Um, well, I'm, interested, all I'm interested in uh, getting my picks on there okay. during, during yeah. the close, if you're going to do it now or the close meeting. Whenever you're going to yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, right. I, as one member, yeah. I don't know about Don, but I want to tell you my picks. Okay. And I'd like to have them written down on this sheet. Do we need to go in closed session for that part, um, Ms. Bellisle? No, I think that they're all identified by uh, the letter in chart. Right. Okay. Only state uh, the by the lettering chart which ones you're interested in. Um, yes. Shall I begin? Yes. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm going to yep. begin. Go ahead. I'll Go begin ahead, when ma everybody's ready. Okay. You're going to go? Yes, I'm waiting for everybody to be ready. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Ms. Bellager. Candidate F. Okay. Candidate H. Okay. Candidate near the bottom, H. H. Is that all? That is all, thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Dockett, did you choose any? Uh, candidate A. Okay. Candidate F. Okay. Candidate uh, P. Okay. Candidate H. H. Okay. Uh, just a minute here now. Uh, uh, I, I missed a couple here. Candidate uh, C, C. Okay. And uh, E, E. Okay. That's it. 
Okay. Thank you. So we can correct some of the some of the votes at the top. I'm sure you can all add. Candidate A has six votes now. Candidate F has seven votes. Candidate H has two. Candidate P has three. Candidate CC has three. Candidate EE has three. And candidate HH has four. Okay. Thank you for providing those. Okay, um, I guess uh, now would be an appropriate time. Um, we had started to deal with, with the h hiring process that you sent us, and uh, we had gotten through three, um, one, two, and three, and there was some uh, controversy over, you suggested three top candidates, and the board, um, some board members were interested in uh, interviewing more than three. And your um, three is a recommendation, just a recommendation? Yeah, it, it's just easier sometimes to, to start with a, a smaller number rather than a larger number. So that, that, was, my, that was my recommendation was, was three. Um, it, okay. it seems to be a manageable number, but that's also based on how many resumes you get in total and how many you are going to review tonight. Mm -hmm. So three may not be enough based on how many you're looking at today or how many you received you received in total. So it's, it can be a fluid number based on your mm -hmm. needs, what the board wants, and how many people you've, you know, you make the cut today. Okay. Five may be a more workable number for you. Mm -hmm. um, three just seems like a manageable place to start, but it's whatever works for, for the board. And, okay. and I would suggest that we keep it at an odd number, not an even number. It, it just, just for the sake of it being an odd number. So either it's five or it's seven. Okay. Are we okay. playing the lottery tonight or no, something? We're not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Just the method that I usually use. Now we so we had gotten by three. Would you like to go through the rest of this hiring process for us? Um, I'd like to make a on. statement on this. Okay, go ahead, uh, Mr. Dunn. What? Uh, I just want to be careful that we pick out three and then we call these people and they say, well, I already have a job, you know. Well, so this is why I'm saying that that is not going to fly in my, I, I, at least six people, I would think, because I know that's what happened last time. So what happens, we, we get three and we call three and two say they, they, they got a job. Well, and, and I'll explain why I, I picked three, just based oh, on... You don't have to. I just, I'm just i talking with the board. Oh, sure. So I, you don't have to explain anything to me. I just want them to know what happened last time. Right. And I'm just trying to keep that from happening. Thank yeah, you. and I wanted to throw out a suggestion for for perhaps, you know, how to avoid that next time. Or And, and, and I know that the process has already begun. And, and I, you know, for all the reasons that you were talking about when I got here, um, you know, perhaps lack of clarity in how the, you know, first cut process was going to work. And so I, I thought that this would be a good way for the board to just, everyone to be on the same page so that there is a list and you go down the list and you check off what's next. And when it's written down, it's just easier for everyone to mm -hmm. kind of digest and have something to refer to. So typically during these hiring processes, and it's different for everyone, but, but often what, what will happen is that there's kind of a scoring process. And so in, in the scoring, you end up with a, you know, sort of a, a list of your top scoring people. And so in, in my thinking in, when I was drafting this was, okay, you've got three, say one falls off, you could then go to your next highest scoring person, presumably who you would want to add to the list next. And so that, that's how you would deal with that without well, that, having to come back around. That's one way, that's one way. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So. Um, no, not really. I think I okay. make more sense. Okay. So. Well, I'm sure we all if you're ourselves asking ourselves make more sense. Um, then we get to four. Um, it, you have interviewing candidates in an open township board meeting. Yes. Um, and the board will utilize a list of agreed upon questions to interview the candidates. Um, the board may utilize a third party, such as the township's municipal or labor attorney, to moderate the interviews, asking all initial questions. 
Each board member will be permitted one follow-up question per interview, and all questions will relate to the candidate's qualifications to perform the township manager job. Um, do we have any, um, any of us feel um, that that might be uh, appropriate to have um, Stacy do the interviewing? In, as we're here, of course, with well, of course questions that we have us. suggested. If Stacy's going to do it, what like are we doing here? No, but we would be here listening. Well, I think I think they're looking just for a moderator, and I think yeah. we could use almost anybody to to moderate this. That's true, yeah. and I'm yeah. I'm thinking of the last time that my firm interviewed for labor council position with a municipality, and I thought it worked really well. They had all of the the management employees um, sitting in on the interviews, asking follow up questions. But just for consistency, they had one person, the I believe it was their marketing or purchasing manager, who asked all the initial questions, and then everyone kind of circled back around. And I just thought it worked really well for that process. And you may want to consider something like that too. You don't have to. It's just my suggestion. Okay. To, and and then also just to kind of bring it up, it could be it could be anyone. All right, and my expectation is that you would be here just to make sure we're not getting far off into the field okay. of, of weeds as sure. we're doing this. But um, anyway, um, Ms. Belliger. Would it be, um, what if uh, I'd like for each board member to perhaps have five minutes or four minutes worth of question? You know, maybe uh, a question and a follow up question, perhaps? Mm. I mean, yes. some board member may not have a question could pass on a question, but be uh, permitted. I mean, you know, it's, see, questions are gonna be kind of fluid in one sense, because each candidate's gonna bring something different to the table. You know, some questions won't need to be asked, because some things will be already answered, per se. Other questions we might kind of, you know, as to be stuck to a limited list, I understand you wanna look over and make sure the questions are legal, per, you know, make sure they're they're all within the uh, framework of legality. But um, I think there needs to be some bit of flexibility here regarding, sure. regarding the questions. And I, why not if we're to interview and to hire and select these people, perhaps that um, the board should ask, have some time to ask questions as they, as they see fit. I think we should have a set of initial questions that are yeah. that are consistent across the board uh, for all of them. Um, I mean, we shouldn't. Well, what are you going to do? Make up a list for us? Then? Mm -hmm. I think. Well, I did provide a list. I, I think if you guys want to add to it, add to it. I mean, I, this was just out of things that, based on when I do interviewing for management positions or. Um, I was thinking some of the questions that were asked the last time I even looked up online what were some of the questions that were asked for a township or a city manager some of them I took it out but you know some of them I included in because it does pertain to us mm -hmm. do you have an extra set of this so that I could give it to um, Stacy actually I can probably um, email um, it to you okay but since Janet's not here there might be an extra oh there is yeah oh okay Right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If we go with this list concept, um, can we um, get these questions and approve them as a board at the meeting coming Tuesday, perhaps? Well, then it wouldn't be in the packet, would it? <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't be, would it? It would have it to be <laughs> a couple days before. If we get our questions our together over the weekend and maybe uh, get them in the packet Monday, I mean, it's if we want to get moving with this process. Mm -hmm. The one thing about this is there's 29 questions. Yeah. And we, right, and if we're gonna be interviewing, say, five people, which might be a, an appropriate number based on the scores, um, if we're gonna be interviewing five people, we could be here until who knows what hour of the night. Um, but, it, and some of these are probably not all that pertinent um, to, the, to the position. So uh, perhaps we could go through this list that, um, Masato provided us and choose the ones that we think are most appropriate, and then have um, and have Stacy look at the ones that might she might suggest that sure. would be uh, good for us. And then, what is an appropriate number of questions? Well, I suspect we're not going to use all of those. Of course, they might no. be just we might pull three or six based on the person. Or you may add. 
to it too. Yeah, or, and I right. have questions I'd like to. Someone may want to ask a question that's not on there. Correct. Well, then you could uh, submit a question. You know that yeah. isn't on the I list. I think I think by um, I think what we would want to avoid is shooting from the hip during the during the interview. It's to make sure that because if we ask one, we have to make sure that we. No, ask but I mean we don't all have, have to use just this no. list. Right. We can make up a list. Right. You can make and, up your and, own and list and add then, more and, questions and, to and, it. Well, or different questions, yeah. and then mm -hmm. pick out what we're going to ask. We don't have to go by just this. Right. right. But you should submit the question ahead, the questions ahead of time, so that. Um, I understand that. So we make a right. right. There's a list. Oh, right. I, if you don't use that, then we're going to have to make another list. Right. That's the, well, look, I'm going to suggest that everyone look at this list that Ms. Otto provided, choose questions that you think are appropriate, and add or send in additional questions. If, you don't, if your question's not on this list, send the question in to me or Jennifer. We'll get them to um, Ms. Belisle, and she will make sure that we are asking appropriate questions and we're not getting into areas that we are not allowed to ask questions about. And just FYI, Jennifer does have this list. She does not. She does. She does, yes. She, she said you sent her some questions, yes. So, um, Ms. Manley. Um, just kind of the same question you have for um, Stacy. What's an appropriate number of questions to not drag on the process for hours? Yeah, I guess, I guess it depends on how many people you, you want to interview total and kind of how much time you want to set aside per person. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I think a half an hour per person is probably a good starting point. So based on that, you know, they're, they're probably going to have, you know, more than a couple word answers. So account for perhaps each question going for five minutes and then you want some time for some question and answer, maybe their commentary, their questions of you at the end, so maybe another five minutes. And then if each board member is going to be allotted a period of time as well for their own follow-up questions, then kind of work that in as well. So, oh boy. You'd be lucky to ask one question. <laughs> if there's yeah. we're, we're now into an hour. Uh, yeah. Definitely yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you ask each person the same question? If there's six people, I, I would recommend that. There's seven of us, and, and we got a 30 minutes. Yep. Uh, probably one question per, per member, yeah. wouldn't you think? Uh, Ms. Zelnach, do you have a question? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it is important that we have a list of questions and that we do try to make sure that we in, are diligent and ask each candidate that same question right. mm -hmm. to get a comparison. And then I think in here it indicates, you know, a board member could have a follow-up question. Because, mm -hmm. again, if you kind of deviate and you start off on a topic and you don't ask the same questions, I just think there could be some bias. And yes. then there could be some questions in our question from a legal perspective. They could be on the TV watching us down in the car, too. Yeah, well, and, I mean. And have the answer ready. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, maybe we make them come up here and sit, you know, without it. Or something but I, I yeah it, it does I mean mr. doctor you do raise a good point that somehow you might have to put them downstairs and someone watch and make sure they're not listening to it but I'll tell you if you are going into an interview and and I'll tell because I have because I've interviewed before you basically know what type of questions they're going to be answering and you better be very well prepared to answer some of these questions I, I, I think so so yeah. I mean I think we need a date of when we want the questions to be given to I guess I would say Miss Carlisle yeah mm -hmm. and then I mean right now we have 29 so I mean, I have my standard questions that I always ask. So I'll yeah, add I those chopped for it down to 11. So by the time okay. she came back yeah. to me and so, said, okay, 29 is not So do I guess it. we need a date. <laughs> my, my recommendation would be that we need a date of when these questions should be given. Need some time that they would be whittled down and given to Stacy. And I would also, again, recommend that our goal is that we ask each candidate the same question. And, and I would think it's going to take an hour per candidate. It, it could, yeah. I mean, based on what you're saying now an and, and, the, and yeah. all the follow-up, it, it yeah. could. It I mean, could. we just got done interviewing. Um, we kind of used this process, Stacy, but for controllers, and basically all the controllers, it was about an hour. Some were, you know, a little less, but for the most part, it was a good hour. 
So, and we um, ask the same questions mm -hmm. to all the candidates. Do we need to plan a Saturday afternoon? I mean, that's a lot of time for us. Yeah, I'd um, say do you want a Saturday would be appropriate. Saturday afternoon? I don't know about an okay. afternoon. It might be at 10 o'clock. Or 10 o'clock. <laughs> and then we have lunch? <laughs> to go into afternoon. And we take yeah. a break for lunch? Well, we might need a break. I mean, I five so. hours of questioning mm -hmm. is a long time. So yes. I would say, yeah, we probably would want a break just to refresh our own minds. Okay. Yeah. So we'll need to pick a Saturday. Is, are all board members um, comfortable with that? Saturday? I'm comfortable with okay. the Saturday. I could. Okay. I'm going to be gone for three Saturdays in a row, starting May 20th. So. Um, I too am not available that Saturday. Yeah. I'm, and then the next one is Memorial Weekend, and the next one's the following weekend. So, so there's, you know, there's not a lot of weekends for this, but maybe the weekend right after, right before our next meeting in June, we could do that one. That June seems too far yeah. away. June 10th is the cleanup. It's, yes, it is. June 10th That's is the right. cleanup. That's right. So that wouldn't work. I think it's too far away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maybe the, next Saturday, Mother's Day, or Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> Mother's Day weekend. You have to give everybody enough notice. Um, yeah, we don't know how many. We should. I mean, we might have to start on the 20th. Well, I won't be around, which is okay. You all can deal with it. I mean, we just. I think. Just so you know, Marlene, it's not that we're choosing anybody at that point either. Right. So right. Um, you would have a t enough time to review mm -hmm. the interviews and everything okay. to come up with a decision on your own as well. Right, that's true. Um, well, maybe we should do two evenings as okay. opposed to one whole Saturday. That would work, maybe? That would be my next question. Two yeah, evenings, maybe like a Tuesday evening, Thursday evening, Wednesday, Friday, I think something. You, Mr. Dockett, you guys did that the last oh, time. This is what we did last time. We scheduled 45, if I remember correctly. We scheduled 15, excuse me, 30 minute uh, question and answers, 15 minutes in between. Uh, uh, b because we, did, we wanted the, that one to leave and the other one to come in, you know. So it, it takes 40, it took us 45 minutes. And if, if I'm just saying, if we're gonna use five, I'll just take five, that'd be two and a half hours, an hour and 15 minutes in between, we're looking at a four hour meeting. So uh, I, don't, I don't think it can be done in much less time than that. So on a Saturday, a four hour meeting, would be all right with me, but but we got to remember that maybe the candidates there might be a problem. So maybe the suggestion of two meetings, maybe I don't know, but I think it's a at least a four a, about a four hour meeting. I would recommend if we're going to do it in the evening time is to have it two separate meetings. Two separate meetings. Yep, because you may not somebody may not be able to even do either. Saturday. Do one specific meeting right. or a Saturday. Right. That's a good point. So, that's give true. At least an option, maybe. I, I, I would like to see us go for one Saturday if it works out right. for the people, but but if it don't, I don't. Because I think um, going back to Mr. Dackett's point before, I mean, if you have it two separate meetings, and that's video, then I think the next candidates have a leg up on yep. what's going to be an asked yeah. and how the people asked yeah. it. Yeah. So You're that's right. the only. Concern I have if we go to separate meetings potentially because mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and Saturday is the best. It might be, I mean, just because of that, and I'm sure people would be looking. Yeah, I Could. don't. I personally, I don't think that we're prepared to have this next Saturday. What on the on the 13th? Yeah, no, I was okay. thinking the 20th. The okay. tw 20th of Saturday. Of I'm May. not available. Oh, okay. And neither is so. I'm not available. And then the next weekend is Memorial Weekend. Um, the next opportunity would be June 3rd, if it's a Saturday. Um, is it possible to do a long afternoon? I don't know if people can take a half a day from their other commitments and maybe do like, like a Thursday afternoon, a Tuesday, just pick a day afternoon. We need to move fast on this. Yeah, like pick like a day next week or two weeks from now, not too far away, but not too close, and just do all afternoon. It might take till 8 p.m. or something if it does. I mean, just a thought during the week. Um, I work. Yeah. Yeah. And they work. And the candidates work too. I work. So, yeah. We could do. People um, can do personal days, though. I don't last, know what last time I checked. I work too. 
I just started a job, so the answer yeah. is unless you're going to pay me. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got um, the week of we May. We are paying you. The, the week of May 14th, um, week nights. Yeah, the week of May 14th. Um, would there be two nights that week that we could get in here together? Um, there's no other board meetings going on that week, other than Parks and Rec on Thursday, but. Um, I hate to butt in, but yes. you had mentioned that you would like me to be present, and I. Oh, you can't do that. It's mm -hmm. an issue for me <laughs> all the time, it seems. Wayne County has summoned me for jury duty that week. Oh. So I have no idea what my schedule is going to be like after the 17th. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and there may be something on the 16th, but the, no, I could, I could do the 16th. Um, but the, but I just, I mean, I fully plan to not <laughs> be on a jury, but you never know. You never know what's going to happen, so. Have you got somebody else in your office? Um, sure. Well, yes, I, I don't know what their schedule is, but yeah. Uh, the, uh, the 15th during the day would not work for me. Um, so I'm sorry I missed that. Um, 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 so evenings won't really work very well. Um, it's hard to say. Yes. I hope they will, but I'm not sure. Okay. But as you as you pointed okay. out, someone else from my office could likely be available. So. Okay. I'm available 15, 16, and 17. Okay. Me too. Of May. Yeah, I can do the 16th and 17th. It's okay, okay. 16th and 17th? How are you? Um, if we start at 6 o'clock. <laughs> okay, and go for, what, two hours or? Whatever two the to, time. Whatever, two to three. Yeah. Right, and Probably. we can either get three in or two, whatever. Probably three hours. Okay, three. so um, May 16th and 17th. Well, we're not going to try for Saturday then. We're just no. I, so I'm not, I'm not sure I can make the 16th. I have prior commitments on Tuesday, so mm -hmm. every Tuesday. Well, well are we going to schedule 45 yeah, there's not minutes? Gonna be day. Are you going to schedule 45 minutes in between? That, that Thir makes sense to me. I can't imagine. I mean, if we're concise with our questions and we're not... We asked a lot of questions of the tr controller. I mean, probably if we narrow it down to like the nitty gritty questions well, and I, then with a potential follow up, I don't think that we should have to, you know, grill them longer than a half an hour. I think to it's going to yeah. take longer than half an hour. Uh, but it takes the other 15 minutes to get them in and out. So. Mm -hmm. The controller was more, uh, uh, was more. I wouldn't say technical, but it was technical. It was more specific to uh, to um, the function. Uh, township manager uh, deals with a board, deals with the community, deals with um, a lot more. I, more I mean, interaction. I again well, more it interaction. Took, I mean, it. You know, the shortest one was a half an hour, but I'd say most of them were I, at least. I, I said the shortest one was a half an hour. I'd say the it was at least yeah. forty-five minutes. So I would it plan for forty-five minutes the fifteen-minute break. Okay, that if, sounds If we're going to do that, okay. that sounds good. So we're kind of, but yeah, half an hour seems awful short. Okay, so May sixteenth and seventeenth start at six p.m. And we'll see who can come in uh, those dates. And so now, are we ready to, well, and we need to provide questions for Ms. Belle Isle I to will, give um, us a set. I'll do that. I'll send mine tonight or tomorrow to okay. you or to, maybe I can email them to you directly. Well, let's, let's send them to Jennifer and, and, she'll um, them. and she'll compile them and then we'll send them off to um, Ms. Belle Isle. I, I didn't hear, oh, so, so have you made a decision on on how long the meeting is. We'll have to go as long as we need no, to. No, but I mean, are they 30 minutes with 15 in, in or no? Or? 45 with 15. Okay, so they're gonna be 45 minutes, and then you gotta switch them, you know, mm -hmm. so. Right. So what is an hour then, or mm -hmm. what? Yep. Right. 
Yeah, about, about an, an hour. hour. Yep. Okay, okay, well, I'm just asking. Uh, yep. I want to know. Okay. So, so if you do want to do six, you can do three a night. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's not the odds, but um, I know it isn't. I just, but um, I was just saying. <laughs> I have a question. Um, when well, do we need to we get the. Do six. Okay. We, we could do seven. Ms. And Bell. if one drops out, then we're down to six. Ms. Belknock. Uh, when, when should we, what's the date to give the questions to Jennifer, Ms. Carlisle? Uh, how long will it take us to do that? Um, can, can everyone get them done by, well, um, Ms. Carlisle is not in until Monday, I know. so can everybody get the questions to her by Monday, 5 o'clock, or 4 o'clock, she leaves at 4. 4 o'clock Monday? 4 o'clock Monday. So which would be close of business, which would be Tuesday morning? Yeah. You know, give it to her. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, Tuesday morning. Okay. You yep. know, you're saying it for, but close of business yes. on Monday, May 8th, which means any time before Tuesday at 8 a.m. Okay. <laughs> That's how I usually so, always do so it. So Tuesday <laughs> at 8 a.m. <laughs> okay. Yes, that was really what it is. Which Tuesday is the night. Okay. Tuesday okay. at 8, because that's when Miss Carlisle will be. So, okay. Okay. Tuesday, May 9th. And then. By 8 a.m. And how much time do you need, um, Ms. Um, Bellinger? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Then you'll want to do the interviews uh, the next week. So, um, how about, uh, I don't know, are you going to vote on the questions or we're just a. I'm going to make a recommendation. It would be nice to I vote on them. I, th I, I think uh, Ms. Belle Isle should make um, a recommendation. Okay. I may what, surprise what's everyone you. Else think? What was it? What? I'm just letting you know ahead of time. I may surprise you. Oh, you may. Yes, okay. I, I, well, I may. As, as long as if I don't like the deal. Not an uh, illegal question. If I don't like the deal, then, <laughs> then I will do my thing. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> How does everyone else feel about Ms. Belle Isle um, selecting the questions? We can, we can all submit and uh, tell her which ones we feel are most important and she'll choose. I, 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 yeah, I, I feel comfortable making a recommendation and leaving it up to you to make the final determination. Okay. Um, but just, just based on kind of experience and legal issues and, and all of that. I'm happy to take a look and then come back with a recommendation. I asked about your voting because I don't know when your next meeting is, when you would, when that would come up. Tuesday is Tuesday. our next meeting. Yes. Ah. It, it's not on our agenda though. Okay. So, right, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have it done. So, um, yeah. And then you would be vote, you would be starting interviews the next week, the 16th, the mm -hmm. week later. Um, Hmm. Well, I think if uh, <laughs> oh, perhaps yes. you could let's say you got a gob lot of questions. Perhaps you could put asterisks where ones you think are pretty strong questions, and maybe dot you know remove ones that are absolutely no no goes. Sure. Perhaps I, I could do that. Um, I will. Hmm. But then I would need to get it to you by the May 9th m for the May 9th meeting. That's your next meeting, right? That's the next, the very, that's the day that. Okay. Um, well, as long be as, as, as long as they get to me by that morning, just so that I can get you something before the meeting. Okay. So that would mean that we would have to really give Jennifer the stuff um, eight Monday morning. Monday morning would be not, better. Not Tuesday morning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jennifer would have to turn it around and give it to um, Miss yeah. Belle Isle. That shouldn't be night. an issue. That, that really shouldn't be an issue. Okay. She, could she can turn that around quickly. So we need to get our questions to the office Monday morning? Monday, Monday 8 May 8th. 8 a.m. Uh, uh, okay. put, put the date, the, the day. The, the Monday, the, May 8th, 8th at 8 a.m. That, that's what we need. Yeah. Yep. Monday, Not May Monday morning. No, nope. Monday, May 8th at 8 a.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then the expectation would be Ms. Carlisle, as soon as she gets it done, but no later than Monday, close of business would give it to Miss. Yes. On May 8th. Yeah. 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 She, she can, she's amazing, so she can do, okay. she can get that done quickly, I'm sure. And then we'll get them to Miss uh, Belle Isle, yeah. and she can. Um, on May 9th, on, or sooner. Or sooner, actually, she'll, I'm sure she'll get it May 8th. And then um, you can turn those around and, and tell us which ones are probably your most important, but we yes. can, um, 
We'll take a look at that list on Tuesday, so it will not be in your packet. I hope everyone is okay with receiving something that day um, to look at, and uh, we will email it out as soon as we get it, and then uh, we can kind of settle on questions. Probably there, I'm thinking maybe no more than eight questions. You think eight is enough? I, I do. Um, I, how about this? Why don't we do eight solid and then two in case? If you're running short or long, you can you can decide. Um, and then you'll have the, the firm eight and then two alternates. Okay. Plus you want to also give the person time to ask yeah. the board questions too. No, I have a oh, question yeah. regarding that. Is this, Go ahead. is there room for us to ask additional questions or two? Is it eight core questions? And then we ask if we feel we need to ask an additional question or two? I'm, I'm trying to get clarification. Yeah, I, I think, th I, 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 just my recommendation would be to have a, a, a set of core questions and then either provide a set number of follow-up questions or a, or just a watch period it. of time, yeah. Okay. So, so I understand that we're, we're, we're gonna ask the same question to ever candidate, right? Mm -hmm. So also know when they go into the second cut, the questions may be different because you may want to hone in on certain things. Yeah. So it may be, they almost may be different for different um, candidates. Okay, so based that on will, things well, that they well, didn't provide. That? No, on the second cut, we may have more additional questions than what we had before. We're not going to ask them the same questions over again in the second interview. Once we narrow it down to three, we may have additional questions to ask. Mm -hmm. okay. A different set. A different set. Okay. So um, I have a farmland committee meeting starting downstairs at 7 o'clock. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm going to need to let some people in uh, in a minute. So maybe uh, I think we've gotten past our questions. We've gotten our date. We've got um, to the point where we can choose which candidates we would like to interview. and. Looking at the sheet of the tallies, we have five candidates that are, um, none of them are confidential. Um, we have uh, candidate F, well I'll go to start, starting down, the, the top five so far, candidate A, candidate F. Wait, wait a minute, are these, these are the top ones? Or these are the yet? top five. Okay, go. Candidate A, candidate F, F. F is in Frank. Uh, Frank. Okay. okay. Candidate U. Candidate A. Oh, A A. And candidate H H. So those are five. The top five. Um, if we have some candidates that are ranked three, um, but if we want to cut it off at five, we have our five. So the only thing I'm going to ask is this, is because one of them is one that I didn't pick and this is the only reason. If any of the candidates in their resumes have not given dates within their resumes, I recommend that prior to having the interview that they update their resume with dates. What do you mean by that? Work dates. dates. Where, where work, they work. work dates. Yeah. Oh. Like from okay. 69 to 73. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. okay. that is one reason why I didn't pick one. Okay. I, I would like to have more than that. Okay. Um, Ms. Belliger. There's one candidate that um, did not make the cut, but I really strongly would like to see this candidate be included in the interview process. Um, the candidate has a little bit of background um, with the uh, with the township, you know, with the community. You know, grew up in the community and whatnot, and that kind of. Uh, Is she a friend of yours? Um, well, I met her at this board. Um, who? I mean, we. I, I got a. Is it a confidential candidate that you're? No, it is not. Okay. Okay. Um, but 
I could just give you the letter anyway, if you wished. Okay. I think we need one or two more, but. Well, we, we may be missing some. You know, when the phone calls go out to these five candidates, if they've already found positions, we could um, go to the next selection. And we have three candidates that, are, that have three votes. Um, should, we, should we have some standbys then, right, right now? Okay. Well, okay, but let's, let's, let's first do the, the top five. And we'll see, and if any of those drop off, go to somebody that has three. We okay. can uh, check with all three of the other, unless we want to discuss the other three in closed session at this point. Do you want to rank the other three at this point? Or should we just we go, can go downstairs? Five? We can go downstairs, can't we? Can't we go down well, in the office? You want me to go down? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yep. Sorry, we're almost done, um, okay. I hope. Can't, can't we go downstairs Julia. for the closed session? There's a meeting oh, downstairs. We can, we There's can, a meeting downstairs. We can close session here. Oh, yeah. oh I thought yeah. it was here. The meeting was here. No, oh. it's downstairs. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Did you get your sign? Yeah. Or if we go eight, yeah, if we go eight, at, that's you yeah. want to go eight. So I'll tell you something too, and I, I'm just going to say this because I may not have picked somebody on here, and when they come in in the interview, they may end up to be somebody that you like. Mm -hmm. I like, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean because I I'm only picking by a resume. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking because of. Mm -hmm. You know, of character and demeanor, and their character, reaction. their demeanor, how they would re represent themselves to right. a board, that mm -hmm. type of thing. Okay. So that is totally different. I mean, we can extend this to. Well, I all think. Eight. Well, I think we should have one more, at least six that are. We should go in personally with six, so we have three each night. Well, why don't we add the one and that then maybe she a wants? Couple, a couple backups, well, just in case. The so thing is, because the ranking. one. I think you want to only had two in the and there's others that are three. So right. this means that we would add four more onto this and make it nine candidates. So I think we okay. should do like six, three and three, and then have two backups. Yeah. Or maybe three backups, okay, but rank the, the backups. I'll go one, two, and three. Yeah, that's good. We so, need one more. Yep. I think well, we I need one work. more that we would plan on interviewing. Okay. Can we use so we go, friend or or we go, okay. pick? Um, we go three and okay. three. But then I would recommend maybe even you know it, three backups or something like right. that. So these would ranking. be our you know our yep and rank the backups that says if you know one drops out we'll call this person next one and we'll go. So okay. basically I'm thinking we'd have like nine. Okay. All right. Let's go into closed this session then to, to choose the other um, to rank the other ones. So we have five um, yep. already, and then uh, we need to go into closed session. So I have a motion to close the. Uh, the meeting. I move. I support. I support. Okay, motion by um, Otto to close the meeting and um, second by Belliger. Okay, mm -hmm. Belliger. Yeah. We, we tied. On the okay, second. roll call vote. Belliger. Yes. Dockett. Yes. Zelenak. Yes. Chalkley. Yes. Manley. Yes. Otto. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're closing the meeting. Uh, you'll have to leave, uh, Miss Devlin. No, I'm on my way out. Okay. And uh, Mr. Yes. We'll come back.
Okay, thank you. Um, so we're discussing candidate H at this point um, on whether to uh, have this one be a backup candidate. I feel that candidate H has uh, got some practical background that could be beneficial to our uh, our township's needs. Right, I agree with Tom. Okay. So in candidate H, I was kind of questioning it, but one of the things I did when I looked at it was, again, I started out, what kind of management, you know, township manager experience, and I don't see that. Mm -hmm. And then in addition to that, I, the education. I mean, it's good education, but I don't see public administration type of education on that. So mm -hmm. that's where, again, I kind of had it, but then I thought, you know, it doesn't really meet what we were asking for. Right. That was sure. my concern. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of work in the, uh, working in the, in her previous uh, uh, township. No, well, yeah, that's true, I take that back. And it's uh, I take right that with back. the uh, township, various uh, elected representatives and so forth. Yep. No, I, I yeah. do take that. I mean, she has more trustee, but I, I guess I was more looking at the accountant type and controller information. Mm -hmm. So she does have some administrative assistance um, yeah. to township supervisors. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay. I mean, so it d but she doesn't meet the criteria of having the public administration mm -hmm. degree. Backup. Right. Yeah. This is a backup candidate anyway okay. um, at this point, so. Um, I'm okay with that. Is everyone comfortable with this one uh, being a backup candidate? So we'll put yes. uh, this one as number eight. I don't even know if it's a man or a woman. I mean, everything's blocked out. Okay. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. Okay. It's an eight. H. H. All right. So um, I would like to make a motion that we um, contact these six candidates, um, and I will name them off, um, to schedule interviews, and then we will have a I'll name two backup candidates um, if we have any drop off from this, these original six. So the six candidates will be candidate A, candidate F, candidate P, candidate U, candidate AA, and candidate HH. And the two backup candidates will be- How did P get up there? We talked about I, P. I thought P was on the... Candidate P. Yeah, candidate P, I have on, under the older one. Candidate P was number six. So I named six candidates. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. yeah. Sorry, okay. Yep, candidate P was number six. Okay, and then the two backup candidates are candidate H and candidate... CC. CC, yeah, okay. correct. Uh, okay. Um, for the backups, do we have to put them in the order as ranked? So would it be the opposite? Yeah. Yes. Candidate CC would be first and okay. candidate H would be second. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so I'll support that. Okay. So a motion by Chalkley and support by Otto. Any more discussion? Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. So we have our list of candidates that we're gonna contact for um, interviews. Uh, get your questions to Jennifer by Monday morning at 8 a.m. Which date is that? The 8th, correct? The 8th. Can I make one suggestion yes, for you may. Uh, one of them, which is, let me find HH. Okay. Is that we ask to have dates Updated resume with dates. Updated with dates, okay. Do we need to tonight mention the nights that we're going to uh, be interviewing? Yeah, I was gonna ask yes. Madam Supervisor if you would just recap our yes. next steps. Okay, next steps. 
Get your questions to, to uh, Ms. Carlisle by Monday morning, May 8th at 8 a.m. Um, we are going to have eight questions um, selected um, or prioritized, I guess, by our labor attorney, Stacy Belisle, uh, for the core questions, and then there'll be um, an additional number of follow-up questions that'll be chosen. Now, those will be questions that we have submitted to Ms. Carlisle and from of the, some of these um, that Ms. Otto has brought in. Um, then we will have interviews on May 16th and 17th here starting at 6 p.m. and we'll allot one hour uh, total per candidate but the last 15 minutes will be a transition be from one candidate to another. So it'll be, a, be half an hour to 45 minutes of interview and then we'll have the next candidate come in an hour and an hour later. Is that everyone's understanding? If you would do a little bit more clarification on the questions. So we're going to get the questions to Ms. Carlisle right. on Monday. Yes, you're correct. Yeah, May 8th, mm -hmm. and then Ms. Carlisle, as soon as possible, but no later than close of business on Monday, May 8th, is going to give them to our labor attorney, who is going to pick the top eight with two alternates and have it ready for our board meeting on Tuesday, Tuesday. May 9th. Correct. And that means we have to modify our agenda, so maybe we should do that as soon as possible. We yes, we can add that as an item to the agenda. And then, um, so yes. that's the plan. We'll okay. do that tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, thank you, um, Miss Bellinger. I want to clarify that with the questions that we submit, that we won't be restricted to only the eight questions with the ten, with the two possible extra, but that we will provide a list of questions that our um, labor attorney may say yes these are acceptable and absolutely ones that may not be she would strike out and inform us in other words there's additional questions besides simply these eight core questions that will need to be screened or approved uh, actually I was unclear on that too so I'm glad mm -hmm. you brought that up because yeah. it so just just to clarify during the interview there will be the core eight and then two alternates, but then there will be an opportunity for individual board members to ask follow-up. Is that is that correct? That's how if it needs to be. If there's time, right. Well, and, and the other the other thing too is we have to make sure that whatever follow-up question we ask, that we a make sure it's asked to all candidates. So if it's that, not on the list, right. that may not be necessarily. Yeah, I, I, I think okay. that there can be a little fluidity okay. with the follow-up questions. Okay. I think those may stem from what right. you learned during the interview, and okay. that, that gives you some flexibility. Um, I think as long as your core questions are consistent, I think you're okay. So, so the process would be we make sure we ask the eight core questions mm -hmm. and potentially the two alternates. Yes, and then, and then judging going by through time. There. Okay. Yeah. So I think you should you should also decide whether you want to have a set number of potential alternates or just give a set like period of time for alternate or sorry not mm -hmm. alternates for follow up questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think a period of time. Um, we hmm. could actually limit the amount of time to answer a question because we could have a candidate that decides that he'll answer or she. A candidate that may answer the first question and take 30 minutes to do so, thus not allowing us to continue with our questions as well. So there may need to be a limit on the duration of uh, the amount of time allotted per question. Um, I think that would be a good backup way to do things. Um, you know, I think though if you're satisfied with a question or an answer and you see that it's time to move on, certainly the moderator could move on. Mm -hmm. Do, and then is it is there normally a time for them to give like a personal statement or an introduction of themselves you, you prior could, to questioning? I, th I think so. If that's something that you'd like to do, that may be a good a good introduction um, to, to let someone just you know, give a, a two-minute summary or something to, mm -hmm. to kind of knock things off. Mm -hmm. I think too if we initially you know tell the candidate you know, we have, you have 45 minutes, we're gonna ask you eight questions. They can mentally think like, okay, well, I, they give me five minutes for each question. Mm -hmm. So I think if we tell them, set up the process for them, 
they'll be able to figure out like mm -hmm. okay I can't drag on for too long on one thing okay yeah if they do okay. then, and okay. they might just get asked one question and okay that's it. We, hope, we hope to have okay. time for some follow-up questions though right. right besides the basic core of yeah. the, okay well um, well we'll work up a process uh, that was a great suggestion there and uh, you know just to try to be consistent and allow them to have an opportunity to kind of show where their skills are. Um, okay. So, is everyone comfortable at this point? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we will move on to uh, second call to the public. No, no, no more public tonight. Huh? Okay. Board member comments. Mr. Dackett. Oh, I like to. Uh, remind people to buy and use local services. Uh, I want to make a statement here. I, I, I see we have started phase three of the non-motorized path. Uh, we do not have the right-of-ways to complete this path. I don't know why the township has started it. We've been working on it for over seven years. It's an embarrassment to the township board, that's for sure, the whole township. I believe the only way to finish this thing is move over to the north side of the road. If we go across to the north side and run the thing past some houses that won't give us the right of way. I don't see any other way to do it. I know we don't answer questions, but I'm pretty upset about us starting this and we know we can't finish it. I don't know what the board is thinking of. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dockett. Anyone else? Uh, Ms. Bellager. I'll um, echo uh, Mr. Dockett regarding, please, um, uh, support your local businesses and services. We certainly need that. Um, I want to mention also, I did spend a little time uh, with the Washtenaw County uh, Board of Commissioners uh, recently. And uh, uh, what called me, what brought my attention to that, those particular meetings is they are working on passing a resolution to allocate taxpayer money uh, towards assisting illegal undocumented illegal immigrants to circumvent federal immigration law. So I've been to a couple of the meetings. Uh, last night was a meeting where the, uh, the council voted evidently five in favor and two against this resolution. And two weeks from yesterday, on the 17th, they're going to vote to fund this resolution with taxpayer money. It was suggested by many that they, this business could be perhaps handled um, with voluntary donations from the community or corporate as opposed to taxpayer money. Anyway, um, that's something maybe to keep an eye on and uh, wishing everybody a wonderful night and thank you. Thank you. Ms. Elnock, do you have anything? Not tonight, thank you. Okay, um, Ms. Otto. No, I don't, but um, I'd like to thank all the people, all the individuals that submitted their resumes. I, I'm sure the board, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Manley. Okay, and I don't have anything either. Well, thank you very much. Um, I move to adjourn. Can I, can I just, oh, yes. I just wanted to ask a question before you adjourn. Um, with respect to the protocol, would you like me to rework it for the next meeting so that you can vote on it and ha just have something solid in place? Yeah. With, um, did anyone have any further comments on if this was acceptable or not? We didn't get much time to look sure, at it. right. So, um, yes, and then we can have this at our next board meeting. Okay. Like on the 9th. Okay. All right. You I, took I, plenty I, of time. I comments. think we just need to expand the mm -hmm. second, third paragraph a little mm -hmm. bit more. Right. Yeah. The process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, y you've heard what we're doing. And then we're to doing do. two separate ones, one. Two days. Two days, oh, and then we're going to an eliminate process where we're gonna go down to a second interview process after that. Two or three? Yeah, just yeah. three. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. That doesn't say that on here. No, no. but I, I think it needs to yeah. be outlined. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Are we speaking of updating this protocol? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And it will be as we said, the core questions with additional questions that you've screened? Yes. Okay. I will I will add all of that and all the comments that I heard today I'll I'll put into the protocol and then we'll rework it and I'll I'll provide it in time for consideration for next Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. But it will be added to the agenda, so it will be something that will, but we've already heard it, but it's going to come to us for our agenda late. You know, you'll get it ahead of time, but it will be added. Um, you don't have it in your packet tonight, for instance. So. It's going to be added to our yes. agenda, like maybe in a couple of days it'll be in our mailbox. Well, yes, we'll do the yes. best we can to get it in earlier than the meeting. Okay? Yep. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, move to adjourn. Support. Okay. Motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager. All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, is the packet ready for? It is. It is. It's down there. It's down there.